hello guys so in this tutorial we are going to see how to uh, set up your JIT on uh, your system so my system is Mac and uh, so I will be going through the process that uh, you will have to apply on your Mac system and for Linux also it's more or less similar I mean it's similar but for Windows it could be different I've never tried it on Windows so what I will show here will be exactly I mean it will be more or less exactly equal for Linux also okay so uh, here you can see that I'm on this page and uh, this is help.github.com forward slash Mac setup zit so here you will see a detailed description of how to add your uh, how to install it and how to add it to your project or how to do the initial setup to be uh, very exact so it's all written here and it's very simple so what I will do in this tutorial is to just explain why we are doing each step and what does it mean doing that okay so it's like it will start from here so first you will have to install the latest version of the JIT so in the previous tutorial we saw the concept of JIT in this tutorial we will see the concept of I mean we will understand the initial setup so if you'll click here you will go to the you will go here and here you have the set you, you can get the setup for Windows for Mac and source so you will install it I mean by downloading here so you will once you will have the JIT installed uh, there won't be any kind of uh, shortcut um, icon or something like that on your system it will be just silently installed and you can confirm it by getting to know your JIT version here yeah you can see that it's installed on my system and it says that the version in version 0.7.4.4 so it means it is installed so you will do that and you will get to know that JIT, is, JIT has been successfully installed on your system now so how does it work we need to understand that along with the way we will understand that actually uh, and we will when we will be looking at these steps to uh, do the setup initially if you are installing it on your system for the first time so there won't be any dot ssh folder so what is dot ssh folder and where is it so there is a folder called dot ssh uh, it's in your home directory and it is the place where JIT actually keeps the keys so what are the keys so keys are something that will identify your computer with a project on the JIT repository so there should be some authentication I mean if you are committing something from your computer so uh, to your repository in JIT there will be certain ways your JIT repository will confirm whether it is coming from the authenticated computer so it will see the keys the keys in your .sss file should be the same I mean there are many keys connected to a project I mean you have a project in a repository there will be many keys added to that project and uh, if a computer is uh, committing any code to that repository so the key in .sss folder should be existing in that uh, repository's keys so uh, there are five keys so your key I mean the key in your dot ssh folder should be one of them only then it will allow you I and mean, there are even further authentication but this is one step which needs to be fulfilled which needs to be successful so I have to see if I have a dot ssh folder here so I'll do uh, ls I'm already in my home folder I will do ls and I cannot see any dot ssh folder so actually it doesn't mean that I don't have dot ssh folder in Linux if you'll do ls you will see dot ssh folder after ls but in Mac you cannot see because in uh, Mac doesn't show you the hidden folders Linux shows so I cannot see dot ssh but if I'll move to that, um, that folder it will take me there so I have installed zit and I have also created keys, keys. that's why this, uh, this folder is here so 
if you are doing this for the first time so you might see something like this uh, gnosis file or directory the one that you see here so you will directly move to generation of the keys I mean we will look at that so suppose you don't see this I mean gnosis file or directory so what will you do it means you sometimes previously uh, some other day you have created some keys so what do you have to do is to move away though get rid of those keys and generate new keys okay so it's like uh, uh, you have to go in this folder you are in dot ssh you will do ls you can see that there are four things i can see by um, ls id underscore rsa id underscore rsa dot pub key underscore backup known hosts mm -hmm. so your key i mean my current key here is id underscore rsa dot pub and id underscore rsa is somehow related to the identity of this key so if i have to create a new key so i'll have to move these keys into my backup so that i do not lose them i mean i'm not going to delete them right away i might need them further sometime so I'll have to move them and um, then I can go for creating a new key, a brand new key. So here I have already created a folder called key underscore backup. So I will be moving these two uh, files id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub into key backup. But if you haven't created a backup, so first you will have to create this folder and then you will have to move your keys into that so how to create a backup it's like this so you will create a backup and then so you will run this command and after that you will copy your keys to this folder okay so once you have copied you can get rid of these keys and once you are uh, done with this step then you can go for creating the uh, brand new keys so the people who haven't done this before i mean who has never generated keys before they can immediately come to the creation of brand new keys and people who can see things like this the one that i can see on my terminal like four files so they will have to uh, copy these to key underscore backup and then uh, removing them so now how to generate brand new keys it's you will have to write this command now when you create an account in github so you create is using your email id so you will have to uh, write your email id here okay and uh, so let me do it along the way i will first copy my existing keys this folder I will remove them now they are both into the key underscore backup now I will create so enter the file in which I want to uh, save the key I want to save the keys here itself enter passphrase you need to enter a passphrase here this is important suppose you I mean your computer is authenticated but how will your JIT repository authenticate you I mean somebody your computer is open somebody can come and write whatsoever in your project then we'll uh, can try to commit the code into the JIT repository so <coughs> If you enter and uh, enter a passphrase here then he will be prompted to enter this passphrase so it's like your um, password for this computer i mean 
somebody cannot i mean anybody cannot commit the code without writing this password even though that person has the access to your code on the local system he will not be able to commit the code on your jet repository so you will have to write something here i mean some passphrase that you can remember that is very important okay so this is what you will see so now your key is generated You can again see that okay so your key is generated now what you have to do is to go to your account and add this key so first we will look at the key how does it look like this is the way this looks like but I mean from here itself you cannot copy it and uh, this is a hidden file so in mac it's really pain to see the hidden files then copying from them i mean looking at the hidden files is a pain so you might have to look for another tutorial somewhere or do some internet search how to look at the uh, hidden files and then uh, once you will make them visible then you can simply copy them and, and i will show you where do you have to post them i mean paste them Yes, I have exited the system. So somehow, when you have copied that key in id underscore rsa dot pub, make sure that it's dot pub file, not the id underscore rsa empty. And where will you paste it? It's right. Uh, it's written here. You will have to log in into your account, go to account settings, and click SSH public keys. I've already logged into the system. Let me remove help. I have to go here account settings. I have to go here SSH public keys and add another key. You don't have to write anything in the title portion, just add things in the key portion and add that. So once you add this key uh, for your account we are not adding it to any repository we are adding it to account so it means this i mean your computer is now uh, able to add all the repositories for this account okay so whenever you will do the commit it will check whether the key in your uh, on your computer and the key uh, added to this account they are same and then they will that will ask for your passphrase so that way you will do that so i think that was enough for today so let me know if you're not able to understand anything or if there has been any problem so i think working on it is really very interesting and useful so that was all for today so in next tutorial we will see something else i mean some more advanced topic i mean something else related to github okay so that was all bye